So the model question says all of the following are true regarding Wilson's disease except. So there are obviously going to be four statements. First is hepatic presentation is more common in childhood. So the model question says all of the following are true regarding Wilson's disease except. So there are obviously going to be four statements. First is hepatic presentation is more common in childhood. Option number B is males have a higher risk of acute hepatic failure. Option C, Kesher Fischer rings have a strong association with neurological manifestations. And option number D, hemolytic crisis can occur in the childhood. Now regarding so basically question they are asking is related to the clinical presentation of Wilson's disease. So there are a few important things about Wilson's disease that you should know. Wilson's disease was previously known as hepatolenticular degeneration because there is involvement due to copper deposition uh, damage to hepatocytes that is liver as well as the basal ganglia of the brain. So there are neurological manifestation as well as hepatic manifestation. So broadly the Wilson disease manifestations can be divided into four different categories or to be precise five different categories. So clinically you can have hepatological picture, you can have a neurological picture, you can have ophthalmic features, ophthalmic features are majorly two, you have Kesher Fleischer rings which occur due to copper deposition in the uh, desmus membrane of cornea, you already know about it, and sunflower cataract. You have hemolytic crisis or he acute hemolytic episode, and then you have others, which includes involvement of kidneys producing a fanconini malic picture and so on. So these are the five broad clinical manifestations of Wilson disease. Now hepatic manifestation, you need to understand, it is considered to be the earliest manifestation and this is the form which is more commonly seen in children, right? So option number A is a true statement. As regarding hemolysis, again hemolysis can occur anytime. It is more commonly seen in the again childhood period, although there have been cases where it has occurred in adolescence or adulthood. And a hemolysis, uh, Wilson disease which has a hemolytic presentation, usually they have a poor prognosis and they have a high need for liver transplant. So need for transplant is very high in patients who present with a hemolytic crisis. Coming to Kesher Fischer rings, you need to understand that Kesher Fischer rings have a very strong association with occurrence of, uh, of neurological manifestation. In fact, Kesher Fischer rings are found in patients 95% of whom have a underlying neurological manifestation as well. They can occur in those with hepatic manifestation also, but the association of KF rings with underlying hepatic manifestation is only about 30 to 35 percent. So option number C saying KF rings have a strong association with neurological manifestation is a true statement and hemolytic crisis can occur in the childhood is also a true statement. What are we left with? Option number B and that is your correct answer. Why? Because when you talk about hepatic manifestation, there it can be a broad variety of manifestations. There can be a progressive chronic liver failure which produces cirrhosis. There can be acute fulminant hepatic failure. There can be subtle elevation in transaminitis, etc. There can be cholestatic picture and so on. So multiple types of presentations of hepat hepatic involvement have been described. It has been found that people who present with acute hepatic failure or fulminant hepatic failure females are significantly more affected compared to males. It is a direct line which is mentioned in Nelson also, it is mentioned in Harrison also and some years back it has already been asked as a statement based question in when AIM super speciality used to be a separate exam. So because this is a one liner already asked in the exam so we have tried to incorporate it as one of the options. So by exclusion the answer is B because they are asking accept. So, which is the false statement? Males have a higher risk. It is not males, it is females which have a higher risk.